This is Matt Tuhill, the youth minister. Um, for a little change of perspective, I am in the narthex today. And you're getting this video, I believe, on Tuesday after Columbus Day. And over the weekend, I spent rock climbing with my friend. And before you go rock climbing, what you need to do is inspect your gear. Make sure that your climbing shoes haven't worn through, that your harness doesn't have any rips or tears, and if it, anything is worn out, you get rid of it, you get new equipment. And usually the new equipment is much better. And you realize, why was I holding on to that old equipment for so long? And I think that we've arrived at that moment uh, right now in youth ministry where it's time for a lot of change, a lot of getting rid of the old equipment that has worn out um, or the old equipment that is actually causing damage. Uh, people have asked me many times if rock climbing is where you pound a stake into the rocks and climb up on that. And those were called pitons. And I think they quit using those some point in time in the 1940s. So if there's anything that we're doing in youth ministry uh, from the 1940s, it's probably time to stop doing that as well as, because it's probably doing a lot more damage than it is good. Um, so if you would like to be a part of that, uh, I'd like to hear from you. Uh, because the important thing is that St. Francis has their youth ministry. That it's not just me, um, but that it's a whole parish perspective. The second thing uh, I want to talk about is also related to rock climbing, um, is that in rock climbing, somebody holds the rope. Somebody's your belayer. They keep you safe. They hold you fast. And that is what we need for youth ministry. Um, teens need to know who they can count on, who's holding their rope, keeping them safe. Um, because during this pandemic, it just seems like there's more chaos every day. During this election, it shows that people have lost their minds and forgotten who they, who they, not only who they are, but whose they are. That we are all children of God and we should be taking care of each other, not trying to run each other over um, in a time of the most uncertainty ever. And young people are seeing this and it's making them more scared instead of feeling that whoever gets elected, life is going to be any better than it has been the last six months or the last four years. So if you wouldn't mind um, just get, you know contacting me and saying, hey, what can I do? Sometimes we just need people to send letters, send a care package, and just say, hey, we're here. We care. You haven't been forgotten, and God loves you, and so do I. So I hope you all have a great long weekend. I look forward to much more ministry with you at St. Francis and as a parish. And i like to leave you with a little bit of a, a joke that I really like to tell. What do you call a sleepwalking nun? A Roman Catholic. Have a great day.